Uh, probably and maybe more because we are going to invest in the UK. Have you been able to assure the British government that you'll be investing much of the money we pay you for your oil in British industry? Sure, because industry. I think that our, our country in the next 10 years will be what you are today. In the next 25 years, according to other people, I'm not saying that, will be among the five most prosperous countries of the world. When you become something like that, you start to act accordingly. That is, on a world basis, and uh, obviously without any complexes, and understanding the whole uh, political or geopolitics of the world. The increasing price of oil is going to hit our balance of payments hard, and maybe even cause our economy to stop growing altogether for a year or two. Is this really what you want? Just the opposite. That's why what we have decided and the consequent decisions will alleviate for a very good part your balance of payments. And I know that we might eventually do other kind of deal of that sort with other oil producing countries. But don't forget that in three years time you will be a big oil producer yourselves. You might be a member of our club. So uh, the picture is not as bad as uh, it seems to be. Maybe for one year, two years, you will have some difficulties. First of all, I'm sure that you will overcome it. I'm sure that you will get out of the present difficult situation. You British have uh, uh, this quality of uh, rallying around the flag, the country when really it starts to be a little uh, uh, dangerous. I'm sure that you will do it. But may, may I put it this way? Many people watching you tonight, watching you talking to us now, many people in Britain, some of them cold, some of them quite poor, will be asking themselves what it is that you and certainly some of your Arab counterparts, sheikhs and rulers and governments, have against them. Are you... Uh, does it in any way serve your interests well, why, to, why, to, to, why? To, to make the British economy suffer? And why, why against? First of all, it's not British economy. If you want to say anything, it sh should be the world economy. And this is not against. We are just defending our chips. Uh, because for such a long time, we have just been, uh, well, exploited, I can't say that. And uh, why don't you say that when... Uh, the price of uh, wheat was augmented by 300 percent. They had something against us. We had to buy it, or soybean, or steel products, or petrochemical products, which in some cases have augmented by 30 times. So did you have anything against us when you augmented those prices? Or what I buy from you, even weapons, the price that you are charging today is not what you were charging two months ago. It's increasing. Have you something against us? Have you anything in principle against the system in Britain and other Western countries? Not really against. But I must tell you uh, my opinion. If you continue this way, a permissive, undisciplined society, you are going to blow up. And uh, in matter of fact... How do you mean blow up? I'm not quite clear what you mean by that. Well, you will go bankrupt. Uh, you work not enough, you try to get too much money for the little work that you are putting up, and this cannot continue. It can continue for a few months, maybe one or two years, but not forever. You're not going to help us not to go bankrupt if you put the rise of oil in here. I won't be a good friend of yours if I did help you uh, being uh, uh, not aware of the seriousness of the situation. Do you then see oil as in some way a weapon that can correct us and our system? Not really, but uh, I was trying to defend my own interests. But I think at the same time it is serving this cause to, to maybe uh, have the effect of a shock on you and to realize and uh, wipe your eyes and see that, well, to face the future you will have to change your ways. How particularly would you like us to change? Discipline, more work. Do you see any conflict between the social and economic demands of your people? About 50% of them can't read or write yet. 
and the amount you spend on weapons? No, because we couldn't spend more either on illiteracy or other social things because first of all we wouldn't have the teachers and then for instance you know, over hospitals we wouldn't have the doctors, the trained nurses and it could create inflation too. Can I say that this year we are going to have <coughs> a 40 percent national growth at constant prices which is more than twice, or almost three times, the world record which was held by the Japanese. Do you think as your country gets more prosperous, you'll be able to restrain the demands of your people for more of the kind of democracy we have in Britain? But who says that my people are demanding the democracy that you have in Britain? Don't you think that history indicates that that does come with growing prosperity? Are there any, are there any developed... Not necessarily. Powerful countries in this world with hereditary monarchies like your own. Well, yes, but not necessarily. Because uh, our tradition, uh, on just on the opposite way, the people and their king are so close that they feel uh, as the member of the same family. They have, I think, the respect that at least families or children used to have for their father.